villain, but maybe this next magician will be. I grew up in Batesville, Indiana, which is famous for two things, caskets and hospital beds. I was the oldest of six kids, and we were all homeschooled, so my mom is a saint. We didn't have a lot of money, so we made up for that in creativity and imagination. You have to have a lot of self-discipline as a homeschool kid, and so I took that drive to learning about magic. When I was with people one-on-one, -on -one, that was a little bit awkward. So magic presented that way of breaking the ice and connecting with people. If I fool Penn and Teller, one of two things are going to happen. Either I'm going to jump for joy or I'm going to cry. Joined by a randomly selected member of our audience, take a deep breath and open your mind to Johnny Magic. Good evening. Like Allison said, my name is Johnny Magic. Of course, that's just a stage name. My real name is Jonathan Magic. <laughs> Hi there, what's your name? Genevieve. Genevieve, that's a nice name. How do you, how do you feel? I feel scared. Scared? Nervous? Nervous? Yeah. Don't worry. My goal is that you sit in this chair and just feel as relaxed and as comfortable as you can be in front of all these lights and cameras. Yeah, yeah. You know, which brings up an interesting point. You know, you would think on this stage in front of the pen and teller that I would be filled with anxiety, but I'm not. And that's simply because I've learned how to relax and clear my mind through meditation. Tonight, I'm going to be guiding you through a magical meditation. And when we're done, see that gift right there? That's for you. It's a gift that's going to help you remember this experience forever. Okay. Now, during the meditation, I am going to ask you very simple questions. Okay. And all I ask is that when you answer, just give us a simple one-word answer based on your experience. Sound good? Sounds good. Great. Go ahead and close your eyes. Good. Picture this in your mind's eye. You're standing in a large, green, lush forest. It's your happy place. And as you look to your right, you notice a path and you start pushing through the trees and leaves. And you're moving through. And then you see it. A large red door. As you approach the door, you start to open it. You're very curious, Genevieve. And as you reach for the handle, I want you to look and I want you to notice in your mind's eye that there's a little log. And on that log is a little animal, Genevieve. And it's, it's sipping a cup of tea. It's got a little monocle, too. It's so cute. <laughs> Genevieve, my question to you is, what is the animal? Pig. <laughs> okay. A pig. Very good. You're doing great. I want you to think about what's next. I want you to walk through this door. And as you get to the other side, Genevieve, you're completely weightless. You're completely free because you're standing on the moon. And as you look up, you see millions of stars all around you. And then you notice the weather, Genevieve. I want you to notice the weather. Kind of a strange question. We are on the moon after all. But what's the weather? Very rainy. Rainy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're doing great. You really are doing great. We got to get you out of this rain, Genevieve. But picture this in your mind's eye. Something's coming from far away. It's coming towards you. And here's why it's coming. It's coming to pick you up and take you home. What is it? Train. <laughs> Genevieve, I want you to notice that driving the train, it's a spider. It's a big purple spider. Now, Genevieve, you're going to notice that it's playing with something. Well, as you get closer, you know exactly what it's playing with. This is the most important question of all, Genevieve. <laughs> What's the spider playing with? A piano. A piano, OK. <laughs> Let's give Genevieve a round of applause. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's review. You said you, you saw a pig sipping a cup of tea. You said when you were on the moon, it was raining. Yeah. Uh, when something was coming towards you, it was, you said a train, a bit old fashioned. Uh, and then when you were getting on the train, you said a spider was playing a piano. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this will come to any surprise to anyone, but just to be fair, be completely honest, did anyone at any time tell you to say those specific answers? No. Obviously. <laughs> <sighs> I, 
I did say this was a magical meditation. And that's because it always gets the same result. Stand up. You, were, you did such a good job. This gift is for you. It's something I made a little bit ahead of time. What you'll see here is we have a pig drinking a cup of tea. He's on a train. You can notice he's in the rain. And there's that spider playing the piano. That's the magic of meditation. Give her a round of applause. Wow, Johnny Magic. Woo. You're very comfortable um, on stage. Yeah, I grew up on the stage. I've always felt comfortable on the stage. So you've been performing your whole life. I have been performing magic my whole life, but only in the last couple years did I make the leap to do this full time. My wife and I, we sold our house. Whoa. Uh, I quit my job and uh, we just went for it because I'm all about helping people get to know themselves and connect with others. And uh, I love traveling the world doing that. Wow. What's your favorite thing about magic? My favorite thing about magic is the unexpected. And so I love taking people down a journey where they think this is either going to go horribly wrong or we have no idea where this is going and then going kapow and just kind of hitting them with some awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, I think you accomplished that. I think so. All right. It's time to see if the guys figured out how you did your trick. Okay. Here we go. Penn Teller. Very nice, Johnny. You know, there's always that magician in trouble thing when you have to always act like, uh, well, I didn't expect that. So you've got the surrealistic picture at the end that plays off that. Uh, makes it really nice, makes it really funny, makes the audience worry, but also cheer for you more when you get it right at the end. You know, it's interesting you talk about meditation because both Teller and I do meditation. Our buddy Sam Harris yeah. does a thing called Waking Up, and we both do it every day. And a lot of people think that meditation means closing out stuff and go within yourself, but it's not that. One of the things Sam always talks about is listen to his words, listen to what he's saying, but also listen to all the other sounds in your environment. Let everything in, and let that just go, and kind of watch that as a whole panorama in your consciousness. Yeah. And that's one of the things that Sam Harris taught us, and who would have thought that Sam Harris would bust you on this? But we think that's the way you did it. These guys are brilliant. I had an awesome time. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> well, thank you. Right, you you guys were amazing. You didn't fall on, but you were entertaining. Yeah. Johnny Magic! Thank you, guys. You rock. Thank you. Thanks.